Did your parents tell you anything about the day you were born? Yes. What did they say? The snow was up over the first story windows and it was cold out. We were born in DeKalb Junction, New York. Uh, I came first and my sister was 20 minutes later trying to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I weighed four pounds and 13 ounces and she weighed four pounds and 10 ounces. That was two big babies for my mom. <laughs> Who was more strict, your mom or your dad? My mother was more vocal, but if, if we didn't do what we were told, my father stepped in. Do you have a vivid memory of something you did that you were disciplined for? Remember you were telling me about the uh, oh, collecting we, junk? We took the, we took the junk, took my brother's cart that he used to pick up junk with one Saturday morning and left about nine o'clock in the morning, didn't get back to four o'clock in the afternoon. And we made quite a bit of money, but we got a spanking for it and we never did it again. And about what year would that have been? Uh, in the 40s, late 40s, 1940s. So maybe during World War II? After World War II. Okay. And where did you take the junk? There was a, an old uh, uh, gravel road down by the Ospagachi River where people used to dump and, on a hill, and we dumped it there. Would that have been Lake Street? Yes. What did you do for fun when you were a teenager? Oh, we used to go to dances at school and go down to the Judy Rose and have uh, milkshakes after school and, uh, and the Olympia. And uh, we used to meet up with the kids from OFA because we went to St. Mary's Academy and we used to have a ball going there. and. Uh, I guess that's it. So were there any other spots that you guys used to hang out? Not really, except we used to go to the beach all the time with a bunch of kids, you know, and then when the weather got good. Which beach was that? Sandy Beach. And where was that located? Down by the state hospital. And it was a road that you drove down. It was a very steep road, and it was the, the, the shoreline was all sandy. Where was the Judy Rose located? It was on. It was located on the first block of Main Street, uh, coming off the Aspagachi Bridge. And when you were going down toward the other end of town, it was on the right-hand side, and the Olympia was across the road on the left-hand side. And the kids, high school kids, always used to hang out in both of those places. Okay. Uh, what kind of school did you go to? I went to Catholic school, St. Mary's Academy. And where was that located? It was on uh, State Street and on the corner of uh, Morris, I think, in State. And I went there from uh, freshman to senior year. Where did you go to school before that? I went to Holy Cross School and uh, on Main Street in, from grade one to grade eight. And what was it like to go to Catholic school? I liked it. It was. I don't think it was uh, as strict as a lot of people say, but um, we were taught very well. Uh, I never had a hard time with it. I just I liked going to Catholic school. Did you guys have uniforms? No, we never. We never wore uniforms. What kind of activities did you do at the school? Not many activities. We didn't have outside. We just had uh, recess. That's all. Were you a cheerleader? I was in high school. Yes. Mm -hmm. We uh, from uh, my sophomore to senior year. We used to we used to cheer for the uh, basketball and football games. And the first time you tried out, you didn't make it. No, I didn't. But I made it the second. Why didn't you make it the first time? Because there were special kids that they picked instead. I guess I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, I had a, I had a um, a streak of uh, 
plat uh, pl platinum in my hair because I had, I had uh, put Clorox bleach in it and they didn't like the white, the yellow. Oh, you put peroxide in your peroxide hair? Peroxide in it. Yes, a peroxide in my hair. Was that a cool thing to do in the 50s? Well, it certainly was, but the nuns didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first job? My first job was working at Judy Rose. And what did you do there? I was a waitress. Yep. I, what did you like about it? I liked, it, well, you know, you interacted with all the kids and uh, made good money. I thought at the time, I can't remember now how, how much I got paid by an hour, the hour, but it was a fun job. You know, I couldn't believe I was having fun and making money. <laughs> Is there anything you didn't like about the job? No, not really. Not really. How long did you work there? Oh, probably a year and a half, I guess, I think. Where did your family come from? My, let me, you got to turn that on for a minute. i got to think about this, Julie. My family. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Grandpa's family came from? Canada. Okay. And uh, mom's family came from, I don't know. I don't actually know. I don't know where they came from. Grandpa's family was? French. Right. Okay. How did they get here? How did Grandpa's family get here? I don't know. Didn't you tell me how they crossed the river? Oh, yes, on the ice. Crossed the river on the ice with the, with the uh, uh, sleds. So they walked across. They walked across and brought their, their, their belongings on, on sleds. Okay. Um, what do you know now? What do you know now that you wish you'd known when you were young? Mm. I, jeez, I can't even think. <laughs> mm. I can't. I can't. I, can't I, I just can't think. Is there any advice that you would give young people? Pay attention in school. Mm -hmm. Do your best and get good marks because that's the only chance you have as, as far as going to college. Uh, it's, it, I, see some, I saw so many of my friends not doing that and ending up not getting a good job or having a good life. Mm -hmm.